The Chifan S2 comes in at just £11 on speedcubing.org, making it the lowest price of any 6x6 on speedcubing.org. And realistically, the lowest price of any 6x6 you're gonna find, because the Chifan S and the Maylong 6x6 would probably also be sold at £11. However, it is quite an improvement on the Maylong 6x6. It is quite, a, it's a bit smaller, but that's just general um, evolution of 6x6 is 64, just over 64 millimeters. And compared to 66 and probably 65 for the Chifan S and the Maylong. However, with the Chifan S2, it turns reasonably well um, for being a non-magnetic 6x6, obviously I need to make that clear, there are no magnets to this I'm, and I'm not going to try and magnetise it myself. I suspect it would be a bit better if it was magnetised, but we'll get on to that. Um, so it has reasonable corner cutting, however I must stress that this is with the tensions loosened quite a bit. Um, on stock tensions it's a lot slower, a lot stiffer and not very good, but still better than the previous cube, such as the Chief Ant S and the Maylong 6x6 um, on the factory tension. However, the problem is with the Maylong 6x6 is that loosening the tensions just makes it pop. So it's not a good idea. Basically, the Maylong 6x6 is just not a good 6x6 at all, and that's why I don't sell it at the moment. The Chief Ant S2, however, doesn't really pop. I haven't had it pop at all, and I've even got a 206 um, on it. 206 for me two minutes six seconds is not great but for a non-magnetic 6x6 it's pretty good like I'd expect maybe 150 something on the MGC or Shadow V2 so I would say this is the best budget 6x6 under 13 pounds currently I wouldn't say it's the best non-magnetic 6x6 that's ever been released because the Wuhua and Wuhua V2, which were released a few years ago, are probably better. But I think the only reason they're better is because of the plastic. They, they use a more standard GE plastic feel instead of the cheap stuff that they use for the Chief NS2 and the other cheap G budget series. So the Wuhua V2 and standard Wuhua just have slightly better feel but they were obviously before magnetic cubes were really released so I remember back in I think it was 2017 and yeah where you when you could get a Wuhua V2M but like that would be a custom made thing whereas it wasn't until the shadow was released that that changed and you actually had a factory magnetic version um, completely changed 6x6 for a while. Um, so the mechanism is actually the exact same as the Shadow V2. So you can see here the corner piece is basically the exact same. Maybe slightly different on the corner but not much. You can see here that these pieces are basically the exact same thing. You can see here that these pieces are the exact same and you can see that these pieces are the exact same obviously aside from the different color of the internals same with these pieces so basically the Chifan S2 is a pretty much complete replica of the Shadow V2M the only things they've changed are the plastic and the magnets Obviously, there are no magnets in the Chifan S2. So you can imagine it would be a decent cube. However, the problem is they have used a cheaper plastic, as they always do for these cubes, which kind of ruins it, to be honest. I, I suspect a non-magnetic Shadow V2 would, if you just took the magnets out of this, I suspect it would perform a lot better than this, which is a bit disappointing, to be honest. But obviously they have got to try and make it as cheap as possible. However, the I mean there are six by sixes with magnets that aren't much more expensive. So I suppose it is that Chi are a bit more expensive when it comes to 
top of the range cubes, unfortunately. But that's just the way it is um, at the moment. Obviously the Shadow V2 was £32, which is a lot more than the MGC. And most people still prefer the MGC. So, yeah. Would I recommend it? Um, if you want a non-magnetic 6x6, or your budget is £11, then yeah, sure. But if you can spend a bit more, then at least get the Yushin Little Magic M. Or, yeah, at least get the Yushin Little Magic 6x6 or for £13 or the Yushi V2M for, uh, for 14 uh, or better still, the best 6x6 on the market is obviously the MGC unless you prefer the Shadow, which a few people do. So here we have my slightly disappointing 6x6 solve, certainly not the 206 I got earlier today while preparing for this video. Um, as for just 6x6s and other, other big cubes in general, I get the feeling that YJ have betted on the idea that actually there won't be much improvement in cubing hardware considering that they first released their MGC 5x5 and 6x6 back in November 2019 and then have slowly released other MGC cubes and now we're teasing out their square one which is apparently going to be really good but um, we don't know yet. They still haven't released an MGC Pyraminx and I get the feeling they're going to so we just have that like are they ever going to release a version 2 to like the 6x6 for example and yeah it probably be quite a while until they do so we might be stuck with the MGC 6x6 being the best for a while I mean it is a good cube but it would be nice to see just even better cubes the Shadow V2M wasn't was a bit disappointing like high price some people prefer it but not everyone as for the Chi budget line, um, so they recently released a Chi Zing W. I'm hoping they'll release like a Chi Zing S2 7x7 or something like that that's stickless and performs well. I mean, it'll probably just be a copy of the Spark, but hopefully it'll still perform really good. Although, would it just be a copy of the Spark or do they secretly have a spark v2 planned coming out soon because why would they i mean the spark was released in 2019 why would they come out now with a, a budget copy of it that's just a bit silly really so maybe they're planning a spark version 2 but we'll have to wait and see i hope so it would be really nice to see something challenge the mgc 7x7 like that